Hey guys, welcome back to Chicken Scratch. I'm gonna run quick. We um, are putting chicks in from the incubator into the brooder box. You can see I have my heat plate on, ready to roll some feed and fresh water with marbles in the bottom of the cup, pine shavings in, in here. So this is a quick process. You want the chicks under heat as soon as possible. Take your lid off and they will want to jump First thing you do, make sure you don't pinch anybody in the box. Okay, here's our little live chick. Sweet, baby. Okay, now, first thing you do, don't get beak in the water. Do it one more time. Oh, there we go. That's their first drink of water. Okay, and then I'll encourage them to get up under the box. There we go. He's at the feet. y'all is nasty it is nasty they're weak but you still want a good grip on them they're weak you want them in the incubator fully dry if possible but they cannot stay any longer than i believe 72 hours i like to cut it off at 48 and then take my box if you're waiting on an egg to hatch our little wine dots. We've got gold and blue. Yeah, you got a little mouthful. Oh, okay, scab on in there. Oh my goodness. Have a firm grip. I'm, I'm gonna each little chick to learn how to drink. You can show them the food, but they, they'll figure that out. They need the water. That's my preference. I've got a good number in here, so I just make sure I don't wanna hurt anybody. And that styrofoam lid. Yeah, okay, skedaddle. You got the thing. This is the first time these chicks are seeing light, really, outside of the incubator. This is this is just as important to me as the hatching out of the egg. Cool. Okay. So I'm gonna try to fight you. You just dip it in there. And that's it. Okay. I don't leave the lid off because it gets so cold. And chicks try to jump. <laughs> they really jump. They'll be frightened and scared. and All you do is dip their beak just like that. I wish I could zoom in a little bit better, but I don't know what this technology. The main thing is make sure they're up under the brooder plate, that they know how to get in from the front. One side needs to be on the breeze seat. It recommends three inches. Yeah, hold on. Three inches tall on one end in height and then one inch on the bottom, I believe. I have to check for that. I don't always have one end higher than the other. As long as everybody knows how to drink. Yeah. There was a good little mean chicks that hatched. They're so fragile. Look here. I baby mine. I know some people don't. But I feel like 
a little extra TLC, you'll have a great number of chicks and great healthy chicks. You'd rather have healthy chicks than you would a big number of chicks. I want you to see this. In the incubator, look at this one's little beak. They peck each other. This one has been fighting with another one in the incubator. I think we had 12 or 13 hatch out of this. And that's how many we put in. I think one egg didn't make it. So even with that number in this incubator could hold 41 chicken, chicken eggs. They still, they're just, they're feisty. Oh, cool. Look at that pretty blue splash. Oh, blue lace, red one. All right. Yeah. See, I'm trying to drink. So, yeah, I'm trying to drink my first little drink. Okay. Four more. Make sure your shavings are fresh. Um, I like to change mine out every day. I think I talked about this in another video. Y'all do not let your chicks be in soaked shavings or the pine straw or pine shavings, if you can use that, to me that's the best way to go. I've used everything from parchment paper to towels. They need something to get a grip with those little feet because see, they're so fragile. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to drop you. Yeah. Just don't get the chicks wet. That's the main thing because they'll get so cool. They have come out of a hundred degree box and they need to stay that temp. I think no lower than 95 maybe the first week. Yeah. Look, one's on over there trying to eat. They go quick. <laughs> yeah. And that is it. Always make sure you have all of your chicks. We'll put a lid on. That's all of my chicks in here. Uh, the lid needs to have great ventilation throughout. Ventilation, air circulation. They need feed, they need water with something in the bottom of the water tray so they don't accidentally drown. And heat, shavings, and that's it guys. But that's how you take the chicks from the incubator to the brooder box. Seems very simple, but I have a lot of questions and you have to show them where the water's at. I would highly recommend that first thing you do since you get a chick out of the incubator. We'll see you next time on Chicken Scratch.